Bluff. If you live in those communities, you're in that polygon and you're under the tornado warning. Here's Mount Ida. The cell is moving to the east at 25. And if it uh, continues to hold together, we'll cross over into Garland County. But there's the area of concern along Highway 88 near 270. There's where we're finding the rotation. We've got uh, what we call our little couplet. It's velocity mode showing winds blowing toward and away from radar. And it's been intensifying or strengthening here over the last few minutes or so. Again, if you live in Montgomery County, if you live near Pencil Bluff, Odin, Hogjaw, Arkansas, even up toward Gibbs and Washita, you're in the path of a possible tornado. No confirmation just yet, radar indicated, but this uh, severe thunderstorm could produce a tornado at any time as well as some large hail. Look at that. Uh, that last signature that we had, That's Nathan, Fort Smith, Fort Smith from Fort Smith. So yeah, showing some really uh, intense winds now. So this is the reason why the Weather Service has posted that tornado warning there in Montgomery County. This is the warning we have. We had a tornado warning earlier that was canceled. Numerous severe thunderstorm warnings and now this particular tornado warning, Nathan. Yeah, Tom, if we can go over to uh, Storm Track 11 because that clearly shows it a little bit better. When I switch over here to the Fort Smith radar, we are looking at the winds. There you see that definite tight couplet. This is about 4,000 feet above the ground, and you can clearly see we got the reds and the blues very close together. So this is definitely spinning, and we take a look at the NROT tool or how this tool really pinpoints exactly where the rotation from that storm is located. It's very close to Odin, but Mount Ida, you're going to be very close to this rotation as well. So if you're watching us in Odin, Hogjaw, Pencil Bluff, right along Highway 298, Highway 270 towards Mount Ida and also Washita, you want to go ahead and take your tornado precautions. This is a more significant rotation, probably the most significant rotation that we have seen so far from this event this evening. Let's go back over to Max 1 now because that highlights more communities in the path of this dangerous storm. There you see Gaston Mountain, Malden Mountain, just to give you a little bit more geography if you're watching us in that part of Montgomery County. Mount Ida is just on the southern edge of this tornado warning polygon, but still respect the polygon. You're in the polygon. You need to go ahead and take your tornado precautions just in case. And if you forgot what that is, the lowest level of a sturdy structure into your hallway, into your closet, into your bathroom. Stay away from windows, put your shoes on, and don't forget the pets. That's right. That's uh, the, the area that Nathan was talking about, Montgomery County near Gaston Mountain. Here's Gaston. There's Hogjaw and Odin. This is where we're finding a tight area of rotation within uh, this particular supercell thunderstorm that could produce a tornado at any time. Some very intense lightning. Uh, this storm has certainly uh, really has certainly stayed together. If not, has perked up a bit. And that's uh, going to be the case tonight for the rest of the night. We're going to have off and on tornado warnings as well as those severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, Highway 88. If you know where Highway 88 and 270 intersect near Pencil Bluff, you're in the path of this storm up toward Gibbs. Uh, Highway 298. There's Washington. Highway 27 and 298. This is the area of concern, a very strong area of rotation being depicted, but uh, not receiving any reports yet of a confirmed tornado, but could produce one at any moment. Uh, take these precautions seriously. Grab the kids, hit your uh, safe place. Could be an interior room and grab something to put over your head, be it a pillow, a blanket, something to protect your head in case of flying debris. The other thing we're keeping an eye on, very uh, big hail, large hail falling from the these, uh, severe thunderstorms. We thank you for sending those pictures. We'll tell you how you can do that here in just a moment. Uh, look at this hail core. This is a bright orange, which matches up nicely with a ping pong ball sized tail. And then you've got a lot of quarter sized tail around it. Uh, it's at this point, I would say, hey, go get us uh, some hail, take some pictures, but not while the severe thunderstorm and the tornado warning are ongoing. Just wait it out. Stay in your safe place. Upstream just a little bit. Another severe thunderstorm warning in this cell had a tornado warning on it not long ago. Now moving over Hot Springs Village near Jesseville Highway 7 and 192. There's Lake Washtenaw State Park. The cell moved over Lake Washtenaw and is now to the eastern uh, northeastern side. Continuing its track, it is going to take a motion into Saline County. Those of you that live up uh, the road there in Parent, Arkansas may be impacted and eventually uh, western parts of Pulaski County in the Ferndale area. Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for parts of Clark, Dallas County, upwards to Grant and Hot Spring. And this storm, we've been
been keeping an eye on it as well. Uh, no tornado warning on it yet, but it does show some uh, very uh, big indications that it's strengthening and that it is that it could get tornado warned. But there you go. Severe thunderstorm warning. Now, if you live in Willow, Arkansas, you're in the path of that severe storm. The main threat is going to be some very large hail excess of two inches in diameter. Back to the tornado warning. This is in Montgomery County, uh, Montgomery County under the warning. Odin, Hogjaw, Arkansas. There's Pencil Bluff. This warning is till 815 at 745. Got 30 minutes on it. This cell is moving to the east northeast at about uh, 25 to 30 miles per hour. Tom, looking at the winds within this cell once again, if there is something happening, looks like there's definitely a little more gate to gate shear or where there's rotation tightening up and it's approaching you folks in the community of Ogden and also Hogjaw. So you have to take this seriously because there could be a tornado at any moment. We're going to zoom in here on street level and there you see some of the streets in the path of this rotating storm. River Drive, South Side Road, Ridge Road are just a few highways along with Hughes Road and then getting into Selden Drive. So if you're watching us along Highway 88 towards Pencil Bluff, make sure that you are taking this seriously. Go ahead and take your tornado precautions because this cell is continuing to wrap up and then also continue to develop way up into the atmosphere. There's the latest scan showing a little more of the darker blue. So that tells us the inflow of this storm is continuing to progress and continuing to strengthen. So as that inflow continues to build, the likelihood of a tornado at any moment is becoming increasingly likely as it approaches the community of Odin and Pencil Bluff and Hogjaw. So those are the areas that are in the greatest threat of danger at this time. Mount Ida, you are on the southern end of this system. I think for the most part, you should avoid where that rotation is, where all that lightning is. That's where the updraft is located within this cell. And like we, we said, this is a big storm producing big hail. So you've got the tornado threat, but you also have the threat of ping pong ball size hail, maybe golf ball size hail as this cell travels that way through Montgomery County. We have uh, some photos we, we want to share with you right now. While we have this uh, tornado warning, we do want to show a couple of photos or at least a photo or two that uh, of the hail we've been getting in tonight. And this one from Yale County. Look at the size of that hail, Nathan. That is a big hail. That's probably about tennis ball sized right there. Uh, thank you. Whoever sent this in, we do appreciate you sending it along. Text it to us at 501-376-1111. This is out of a cell that produced uh, some very large hail in Yale County not long ago. This has been the main concern with these severe thunderstorms tonight. The potential for producing large hail and quite possibly a tornado. The risk of a tornado is there tonight. More likely, though, the, the hail threat and the damaging wind. Nathan has put a rotation marker here. It's right now moving over Odin. If you live in Odin, hopefully you're in your safe place. If not, get there quickly. Hogjaw, you're just to the south. Pencil Bluff, you're in line next. Here's Highway 88 and Highway 270. How close can we go here? We, do we see many roads in this area, Nathan? Um, there you go. Hughes Road, Iris Lane. Yeah, it looks like it's moving right over the top of Odin High School. If you live to the northeast, there's Iris Lane again. Highway 270 and Highway 88, even along Ridge Road, Hughes Road. Uh, looks like White Town Road. You folks are in the path of this possible tornado, and if you don't get a tornado, there's a good bet you're going to get large hail as this storm continues to move to the northeast. Tom, it continues to maintain its rotation. Also, we have to take into account that it may not be exactly in that spot because the radar is still about 7,000, 8,000 feet above the ground. So, hog jaw. Pencil Bluff, it could be anywhere within that part of Montgomery County. So just because we're pinpointing it a little bit, uh, don't let your guard down be like, oh, it's not over us exactly. That's not how radar works, especially the farther and farther that you get from the radar, which is located in North Little Rock and also the one in Fort Smith. It's just kind of an area of where the radar beam is just a little bit high for us to really right. see what's truthfully happening uh, close to the surface. You notice that where this rotation is located is also on the edge of the polygon, that tornado worn polygon as well. That's why I was saying, hey folks upstream, if you live in Gibbs, Washita, even Story, uh, go ahead and take your, your tornado precautions, take them seriously now. You've got the THV 11 app on your phone. You can take it to your closet and watch us and you can watch us on your phone if your power goes out. That's why we say make sure you've got your devices charged up 
up and ready to go. And you've got your important items, medicine. Uh, make sure you have your shoes ready to go as well. Something to put over your head. Uh, here it is uh, 10 minutes in front of 8 o'clock. These storms will continue into the nighttime hour. Some folks are going to stay up all night. Others of you might decide I'm going to bed. Just make sure that you have several different ways to receive severe weather information. These tornado warnings, especially tonight. And there are other pockets of severe weather. Severe thunderstorm warnings now for Perry County. A uh, good part of Garland, Saline County. This Perry County storm is going to be moving uh, near uh, Nimrod and Casa, Arkansas, Ragsdale, Perryville here within the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes ago or minutes from now, I should say, and then up the road uh, you're going to get toward uh, southern parts of Faulkner County and uh, northern Pulaski. The other severe thunderstorm warning we have is now over Hot Springs Village and Nathan it looks like another little appendage beginning to show up here. We look for those hook echoes to uh, help determine where there could be rotation. That is uh, in, a, in a box that's from near Fountain Lake upwards near Highway 7 there near Jesseville and further north and another strong storm over Hot Springs. Not severe at this time and there was one more severe thunderstorm warning a little farther to the south. So we're seeing the severe weather tonight. Uh, the hail most most definitely. Thank you for sending the hail in and if we can slip over real quick to max two for hail size comparison. These storms have the capability tonight of producing two and a half inch hail. Uh, quarter size tail is severe hail, golf ball size tail one and three quarters. So that's what we're seeing come down from uh, these thunderstorms. Two inches is a uh, hen egg size. So we got some very large hail could uh, cause some property damage out there. Back to max one we go. Let's get you back up to date on that tornado warning that is currently in Montgomery County north of Mount Ida. Nathan. Tom still showing rotation, and so therefore they'll continue that tornado warning until that rotation will diminish. But when we take a look at it, once again, it's Odin, it's Hogjaw, it's Pencil Bluff. Mount Ida has now been taken out of the tornado warning polygon. They've shifted that just to the north. So Mount Ida, you're in the clear, you're good. The worst of the storm is going to be to the north of you. But you're watching us in Hogjaw, Ogden. Or, or excuse me, Odin, Pencil Bluff, Gibbs, Washita, and then Story. Story, you're not in that tornado warning technically, but it's very close to you. And this rotation is be riding its way right along Highway 88. So if you're watching us in that part of Montgomery County, you definitely want to take this seriously and go ahead and take your tornado precautions. And we take a look at the rotation within this cell or the winds within this cell. It is still a couplet that's showing up with the Reds and the blues very close together, highlighting that this cell continues to rotate and is still right a dangerous storm. We have not had any confirmation of a tornado on the ground at this time. This is all Doppler radar indicated, but we are in the situation. It's a super cell thunderstorm. It may produce a tornado at any moment as it's making its way through northern parts of Montgomery County. We're going to switch over here to the Nothing rain there. part of the radar, Tom, okay. because like you said, we're still watching that cell into Northeast Garland County. That one has also a very strong updraft, lots of lightning, and that tells us the story that this cell is not weakening either as it makes its way from Garland County into Saline County. When we take a look at the winds within that cell, there is a little bit of rotation, so we're going to have to watch out for that. This is the cell that had that tornado warning earlier into eastern parts of Montgomery County, western parts of Garland County, and it could be cycling up. Other yeah. cells across the region. We've got that severe thunderstorm warning for Dallas County and also into Grant County. Got to watch out for this cell as well because this is one lone storm. It's a supercell, and as a supercell makes its way into Grant County, it may continue to strengthen and also may begin to rotate. These storms are closing in, getting closer and closer to the Little Rock Metro. So our weather here in Pulaski County, in Saline County, in Faulkner County will be going downhill over the next one to two hours. We'll have rain, Lightning, thunder, it could be heavy rain, but of course we have to watch out for the potential. We could also see severe weather, whether or not it could be dime and quarter size hail, maybe larger than that in some isolated cases. Also potential of some high gusty winds, and we're watching out for that chance of rotation with the potential of tornadoes. Yeah. They should be very, you know, isolated in nature, Tom, but one or two tornadoes cannot be ruled out as we go into the rest of the evening. Yeah, what I'm noticing here is these cells are beginning to get a little closer together. I, I certainly hope that within the next hour they line up more and become more linear than isolated or semi-discrete or discrete. 
which could produce, uh, you know, tornadoes. This tornado warning is the only one we have here in central Arkansas near Mount Ida. Strong indications of rotation. The other cells we have severe thunderstorm warnings could have some big hail with them. So let, let's keep an eye on that as well. But there you go. This is a very good indication of where the rotation is located near Pencil Bluff. That's uh, Highway 88 and 270. If you live in that vicinity, if you live near this area, hopefully you've taken your safe uh, precautions. You're in your safe place. Uh, turn up the TV, walk away, get into your safe place. We'll keep you up to date on uh, on uh, this particular cell. It's holding its own. Uh, the weather service is going to continue the warning. Uh, there's the rotation. This is a, a marker here that shows where the centralized area of rotation is located. Could be a little to the left or right of that. Gibbs, Arkansas, you're upstream. You're next in line if you live on Highway 298. Here's some of the other roads and we'll get a little bit closer. Uh, there's Maddox, Bend, I believe, Fiddle, DD Lane, okay, Abernathy Road, you've got Dillard Road. These are some of the roads in the path of this particular possible tornado. And, and it is possible, we haven't received confirmation, but we know that we've got strong enough rotation within the cell that warrants the tornado warning. Then up the road just a little bit more, you've got Washita and Story is just on the outside of this polygon. That's that, that triangle, and every triangle is more of a, of a square. It's a polygon is what it is really. Uh, so that's who is under the warning and who could be affected as the storm moves to the east northeast at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Not really moving with a, a lot of speed, but here's some other locations. Sims, Gibbs, Washita, Story, Fanny, uh, Stillwater, and Avant uh, around 8.50 tonight. 7.56 right now. This tornado warned storm is in effect uh, until after 8 o'clock. And hopefully, Nathan, it'll, it'll come down just a little bit. Uh, but they will cycle up and down. That's what these supercell thunderstorms do. They'll uh, strengthen, they'll weaken a bit, strengthen some more. Other cells that we're keeping an eye on here in central Arkansas, and now western Pulaski County has been added to the mix. A severe thunderstorm warning until 9 o'clock. This is going to take up a good part of the western part of Little Rock over toward Ferndale and north, uh, even Maumel, Mayflower, southern parts of Faulkner County with this cell moving to the northeast has the potential of producing two inch hail and this is the cell that was tornado warned not long ago. It is currently over Hot Springs Village in Jesseville. Can we take a little bit of a closer look at this, Nathan? Let's see if we have some uh, better idea of any rotation with this that it may. There you go. Little appendage here, a hook that is over Hot Springs Village. That's with our reflectivity mode with our uh, wind mode, our in rot mode, which is on storm track 11. We might see that there is some rotation. Uh, on the southern end of this. Certainly some large hail and some very heavy rainfall with this particular supercell thunderstorm as it moves to the northeast. Severe thunderstorm warning till 9 o'clock. Not a tornado warning, not yet. Um, can we take a look at, there we go. Yeah, we'd be in this general area near Hot Springs Village. Uh, maybe not as well defined. And they're keeping an eye on it here at the National Weather Service. Severe thunderstorm warning moving over uh, the Hot Springs Village area and all of those lakes in Hot Springs Village. So another warning, Nathan, we got to keep an eye on here in the next few. Tom, I'm hoping and crossing my fingers, this cell just to the south of that intense cell into Garland County, about to move into Saline County, but that one north of Hot Springs, hopefully that will cut off some of the inflow and hopefully it won't give it an adrenaline shot and give it a little boost. You just never know with cell mergers. So we're going to have to see what happens with this cell moving from Hot Springs towards Hot Springs Village how that's going to impact um, that cell into Garland County. And they're going to go with a tornado, tornado warning, warning now for, for Saline County. Yeah. Yeah. So you pointed out we do have rotation, and I know a lot of people mm. are probably a little nervous right now because what happened just almost a year ago, right here. I don't think hopefully we're looking at that situation. I think it's just going to be one of these brief spin-ups that don't last very long, yeah. but we just have to certainly take this seriously because now we do have enough rotation showing up with this cell that they have gone ahead and issued a tornado warning that does yeah. include Hot Springs Village and into Saline County. So if there's something happening right now, it's gonna be right over Hot Springs Village and Mountain Valley. Yeah. You don't have much time, here. get to your safe place as soon as possible. This is moving about 25 miles per hour. 
Let me go ahead and put a track on here, Tom, just to give okay. folks While you do that, a heads up. I've got the information. It, it is for Garland and Saline County. So this is until 830, this tornado warning. Uh, it, it's an radar indicated, certainly some good news, not confirmed, but radar indicated uh, and could drop a tornado at any moment. Moving to the northeast at 25, and it is over a very populated area, Hot Springs Village and all those communities there. If you live in Hot Springs Village, make your way to your safe place as soon as you possibly can. I'll tell you what, this, uh, this cell is going to continue to move to the northeast. If you live in Perrin, Arkansas, Saline County, if you live in western Pulaski County, uh, North Point, the Ferndale area, this area familiar with uh, the tornado warnings. We've had several over the last uh, 10, 12 years that have affected western Pulaski. There's Martindale. Going to take a, a similar path as it moves close to the Pinnacle Mountain area. Uh, if you live in western Pulaski County, Although you're not under the warning, go ahead and take precautions. Right now it's Garland and Saline County. Uh, a tornado warning has been issued. And right now the area of concern is right over Hot Springs Village. If you live in Hot Springs Village, get to your safe place immediately. And then up the road it is going to affect uh, uh, folks that live in the Parent, Arkansas. Here are the lakes, and I'll call them out. Ooh, right there between Mountain Valley and Hot Springs Village. Nathan, that's probably is... Uh, uh, as good of an indication tonight of a possible tornado. That's a very tightly wound up area there. And that is getting awfully close to Barcelona Road, uh, Monterey Road, Mazaron Road, DeSoto. Uh, if you live and if you know those locations, then this particular cell or this possible tornado is near you. Lake DeSoto, Lake Cortez, Lake Lago to the north, Lake Coronado. And uh, this continues to wrap up near Mountain Valley. Yeah, Tom, this is a definitely a little more concerning. We're definitely seeing a, a tighter couplet. This is probably the strongest rotation we've seen this evening uh, right there. And we are only about um, 3,000 feet above the surface. So that is low-level rotation happening with this cell. I'm looking at it on Storm Track 11. It's also very clear as this is making its way from Garland County and will enter its way into Saline County. So once again, if you're watching us in Hot Springs Village, any of these lakes that you are familiar with, you are in the path of a storm that may produce a tornado at any moment. And we are looking at that potential of a tornado continuing to build across this region into Garland County. So we still have the other tornado warning. We're going to go back and forth just to make sure that everybody is informed. <laughs> of course, we're going to focus on the one that has a stronger rotation because that one into Montgomery County, the rotation's not as strong, but nonetheless, there's still a tornado warning yeah. very, co right very close to Pencil Bluff, headed towards Gibbs and right along Highway 298. But yeah. that rotation is not as significant this as what we are more. seeing with yeah. this one into Northeast Garland County. Yeah, if you live in Garland County, if you live in, uh, uh, in and around the Hot Springs Village area, it's very important that you're in your safe place. This could produce a tornado. Uh, it's, this is the strongest looking, the most, uh, I'd say the most in intense cell we've had tonight. And there it is, Nathan's got that shear marker right there that indicates where the rotation could possibly be. But if you live uh, along any of these roadways, once again, I'll, I'll call them out for you. Barcelona Road. If you live on a Camino Road, if you live on Monterey Road, even up the even up a little bit to the northeast, uh, DeSoto, there's Lake uh, Lago, Lake Coronado. If you live anywhere near those places, this cell is going to move right over the top of you. That potential tornado, possible tornado will move right over the top. It continues to show some strong, uh, some strong signs of strengthening. Can we take a look at it on Enrot real quick? On our storm track 11, we'll take a look at our wind mode. There you go, Nathan. That is 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 uh, impressive of a signature that we have seen tonight with these supercells as they move to the northeast. Here's Hot Springs Village, but you've got all the lakes and all those communities around uh, Hot Springs Village that are going to be impacted and affected by this possible tornado. Take shelter immediately. That cell is really drawing in a lot of warm, moist air, Tom. That's what you're seeing here with the blues. So. I'm surprised if there's not something happening right now. I think there could be something that may be happening very shortly. When we take a look at the, mm. the CC, that's a little concerning. Yeah, it is. Is it something happening right now that the radar is detecting that is picking up debris? Right now, don't know, but looking back at this, as I scan it back, there's definitely a little concern yeah, that right is here. following the yeah. same path as Valley. the rotation so the radar may be picking up 
on a debris signature, and that tells me that the likelihood of a tornado, possibly over parts of Hot Springs, is pretty high at this time, I would say. Okay. So once again, Hot Springs Village, please, please get to your safe place, take your tornado precautions, lowest level, sturdy structure, into your hallway, into your closet, into your bathroom, get there as soon as possible because you don't have much time. And yeah, this cell is continuing to strengthen as it makes its way into Saline County. Yeah. So Tom, this Take is uh, definitely more concerning. Let me pass this along. The Montgomery County tornado warning has been canceled. This is the only one we have now. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the Montgomery County one, uh, but but this is this is really the one that is going to keep our attention. This is going to move into uh, and out of uh, Hot Springs Village, going to move into Saline County, and eventually we'll track into western parts of Pulaski County near the Ferndale area. This is our wind mode. It looks like it's getting even stronger here, so this is a really good indication there is something here. Yeah, when you see a bullseye like, like that, yeah. that tells tells me that there's likely something happening. Now we're not getting anything from the weather service or some of the chasers out there that would indicate a confirmation, but just take it as a confirmation uh, that this is, and there you go, there's our debris once again. Too. Yeah, uh, this would show uh, some debris that is being picked up by radar. Tracking to the northeast, it's moving over all of those residences in Hot Springs Village as we speak and will affect these folks here over the next, uh, probably next a few minutes or so before it gets out of uh, Garland County into Saline County. And there is uh, the, the indication, this is the hook echo, and that little triangle is indicative of where we find a possible tornado. Otherwise, you got the severe thunderstorm producing some big hail on the north end of it and on the south end of it over Hot Springs Village. We're picking up a possible tornado. Movement is to the northeast. This is going to track into Saline County and then eventually up the road here in western parts of Pulaski County. If you live in Ferndale in western Pulaski County, if you live in any of those neighborhoods out West Chenal, Pinnacle, take cover. Go ahead. There's no warning, but go ahead and, and get everything ready to go. And there's the signature that we've been waiting on, Nathan. I think this is a confirmed. Yes, that is confirmed. Yep. They're well, saying that it is radar confirmed. So what we were looking at earlier, Tom, was a tornado debris signature. So that tells us that the funnel has reached the ground. It's picking up debris and that may be in the form of leaves, branches, but it could also be in the form of maybe uh, some pieces of structures from mm. homes and stuff like that. So that yeah. now we have to take it really seriously, ladies and gentlemen, because we now have a confirmed tornado affecting folks right in here. Hot Springs Village. We were talking about this tornado oh. earlier, Tom, that that storm in Garland County, we gave Hot Springs Village a heads up, watch out for this. And that certainly is the case. Let's go back over to Max One. We're going to give you some streets now. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah. Tom, you can talk about the streets. Right. Uh, around in this area here, of course, uh, Hot Springs Village is being affected right now. This is the area of concern. If you live anywhere around Lake Lago, Lake Cortez, uh, you've got, Ma uh, I think that's uh, Menorica Road right there. Uh, I'm going to switch over Bay to the debris detector. Okay, there's the debris. So this is tracking over. Yeah, uh, you've got Rodrigo Way. If that sounds familiar, the storm's moving over you right now. Uh, Colado Way. You've got Fresno Road. You've got uh, DeSoto Boulevard. All of these roads are in the path of this tornado now confirmed by the National Weather Service. It is moving northeast at 25, so it is going to affect this area of Hot Springs Village. If you live around Lake Coronado, if you live near Lake Lago, uh, Danville Road, DeSoto Boulevard, you are all in the path of this tornado as it moves to the east. All right, so I hope everyone is uh, safe. Um, Let's make sure that we've got our safe place ready to go. And, you know, some people will look at the Hot Springs Village. It's a retirement area. Um, and, you know, there are some other families that live there. But the point of the matter is there's a lot of people in the village. And uh, let's hope for the best with this tornado. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't see that one. S-T-U-R-I-A-S. Or Asturias Road. Or there's Arius Way. Uh, Colado Way, these roads are kind of interesting. I can't see the, the font very well because they're all on top of one another, but just the, the point of the matter is, if those sound familiar to you, then you're on the path of this tornado. The warning is in effect until 8.30. 8.30 tonight, it's 8.09. Uh, take your phone to your safe place, turn up the volume, we'll walk you through it, um, and uh, just make sure you have something to cover up your head. Um, you know, let, let's all be safe, all be safe with this. Okay, Tom, so some of the roads, once again, would be DeSoto Boulevard, Cortez Road. If you're watching us around Lake 
Lago, you are in the path of this tornado that we now have confirmed. This is not a Doppler radar indicated tornado anymore, ladies and gentlemen. This is the radar picking up debris, and it looks like we are getting some damage reports now from uh, emergency management that sheriff office reports roofs blown off 3925 North Highway 7, very close to Hot Springs Village. So it looks like we are getting damage reports around Hot Springs Village. So if the tornado hasn't reached you just yet, get to your safe place right now. Yes. This is moving about 25 miles per hour. So you have a little bit of time to get to your safe place in any of this part of the community of Hot Springs Village. Mm -hmm. There you see, if you see your road, you are in the path of danger. Where you see this lighter green, that's where the radar is picking up right where here. the tornado is located in between Lake Coronado and Lake Cortez. This is right. going to continue to make its way along Sulphur Springs Road and also into Danville Road. So any of those areas are in the path of the likelihood a tornado is headed in right. your direction. We also have very large hail on the north side of this system. Baseball sized hail being reported two and three quarter inch hailstones falling with the supercell thunderstorm and that little green dot is the area of concern. That's where we've got uh, debris, a debris signature, which indicates we do have a tornado on the ground. Again, uh, here are the places that are going to be affected. Well, the entire area of Hot Springs Village and then up the road 847 Perrin and then 912. This is going to move over western Pulaski County. This is getting it awfully close to Ferndale and the western areas of the county, uh, the Chenal neighborhoods out west, and then eventually uh, Mall Mel. You're going to be in the path of this. Prepare now and get your safe place ready as we keep an eye, a very close eye on this very uh, strong tornado as it's moving across Hot Springs Village. Yeah, uh, roof reports, uh, roofs being blown off on Highway 7, North Highway 7 very close to Hot Spring uh, Village in Garland County. So there you go, there's the confirmation tonight. Here's our radar. This is uh, where we're finding the big hail on the north side and it's wrapping up right in this general area here is where we're finding the tornado as it's moving over Hot Springs Village. It's with that those two cell mergers, so yeah, um, right there. It, it's going to be hiding in the rain for the mm. most part. It may be pouring down rain, then the tornado starts to arrive. I'm still getting a debris signature here on Storm Track 11 with that little green showing up. So that tells us that it's still right probably there. on the ground at this time as it's making its way between Lake Lago and Lake yeah. Coronado, right along DeSoto Boulevard, Danville Road, and headed towards Ponce de Leon Drive. Yeah. So once again, this is a, a very developed area, lots of homes in this area. And if you're watching us, please, please, please take this seriously and get to your safe place before those winds arrive. Once yeah. again, it's moving about 25 miles per hour as we span it out here on Max 1. Go to Max 1. Thank you. There you see that tornado warning does go into <clears throat> Saline County. Yeah, it's, it's on the border. It's riding the border. I was going to mention that of Gar Garland and Saline, and now it looks like it's uh, now in Saline County entirely. The good news is, Tom, looking at Storm Track 11, the NROT has gone down somewhat. So when we go back to Storm Track 11, I'm going to rewind this. The past few scans, that's where it was likely probably dropping that tornado right there. And it looks like the rotation has weakened according to the NROT. That'd be some good so news. So hopefully it some just touched down briefly and it's going right back up. But we Storm know rotation. there's damage and it's likely <laughs> probably from a tornado that has affected the city or community right of Hot Springs Village. All right, so where do we go from here? Let's uh, say it's going through its cycling stage and it's uh, maybe it's back up in the clouds. Uh, these things tend to have a way of, of cycling up and down. So let's not take our eyes off it. Let's let's keep in our safe place. In fact, if you live uh, and you know where Hot Springs Village is and if you live just northeast of Hot Springs Village, Saline County, now you're next. It's in Saline County. It's going to be heading toward the Perrin area and our debris signature still showing some debris here. Maybe uh, some not tree as limbs. strong though. But, yeah, you know, tree limbs, uh, some roofing material. We'll take it back and yeah, that's how we can tell that we've had one. It's uh, uh, I've been on the ground now for a f for at least a few minutes. And there you go, right there. That is a good uh, a good signature of where it is. We're now in Saline County. Garland County is out of the woods, but Saline and then upstream in Pulaski County uh, will be next. It's moving very slowly to we the go east back to Max northeast. One. Please do. Okay. 
All right, so you, you still have a good part of Hot Springs Village and Saline County. DeSoto Boulevard, you've got uh, Menorca Boulevard. And I, I, if I'm mispronouncing these, I, I apologize. I just want to make sure that you know that we know where these roads are. And, and if you know where your road is and we call it out, then you know how close it is to you. Uh, Valero. Boulevard, you got Danville Road. This is going to follow a path uh, to DeSoto Boulevard to near Danville Road on the north end of that uh, road 23100 near Danville Road. There's the Polygon. That's who's under this warning and it is a confirmed tornado and that, that looks like that's going to be extended into Pulaski County as well. So we have that considerable severe thunderstorm warning. So we have the threat of the tornado, but also the threat of some very large hail that's trying to push its way into parts of Saline County. That hail core has also dropped, Tom. So that's some good news. We're seeing the hail core drop. We're seeing the rotation drop. Again, this could just be a cycling method, so don't let your guard down. Stay in your safe place. If you're in that tornado warning polygon, that includes you folks into Hot Springs Village, Perrin, but be on your guard in this part of Saline County and also into Pulaski County, because if this is just a cycle, it may try to cycle back up and produce once again, large hail, but also we have to watch out for that potential of a tornado as well. Looking at the rest of the area, like I said, things would start to get a little more rowdy here yeah. in Central Arkansas once we got into the eight, nine o'clock time frame, and, and that's exactly what's happening, Tom. Yeah, we've got lots of warnings, uh, one up northeast Arkansas, but we still have a cluster in Central Arkansas, Saline County, uh, Pulaski County. You've got Perry County, even Garland County still under that severe thunderstorm warning and uh, a couple of more counties in western Arkansas. This has been our focus here these last few moments in and around the Hot Springs Village area where we had a confirmed tornado, uh, but our radar is indicating maybe that uh, it has weakened a little bit. Maybe it's uh, cycled down, which is certainly some good news, but just play it like it's still there and stay in your safe place until the warning is over with. 816 is our time. I believe it's until 830 tonight. If we can uh, take a look at Max 1 or Storm Track 11 in our, our reflectivity mode, Nathan, we see a really good indication of the, the hook that moved through uh, the Mountain Valley area all the way to the northeast. And uh, we'll follow that real quick. There's Mount Hot Springs Village, and there it is right here. Moving through the village, you saw the triangle, which would indicate where the tornado was spotted. And it is wrapping up and moving into Saline County. Perrin, you are next on the list. Uh, but you and know it what? absorbed that other cell. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, that other so cell came So we're going to have to see what happens over the next 30 minutes to see if it's going to try to wrap back up once again after absorbing that other cell that came from the south. Yeah, and, and maybe that helped to, to weaken it, but you know, <laughs> it, it, right, he said he's right. It may strengthen back up. These cells in and around central Arkansas have the potential of producing very large hail. We're talking baseball sized hail in some instances. It's this area here on the northern flank. Uh, this is uh, Saline County that's near Perrin. This is going to track through western Pulaski County, possibly producing some very large hail. Also up the road, Perryville, Morrillton, and Conway County. Uh, it doesn't look like the Conway County is under a warning, but it does look like the Perry County is still under a severe thunderstorm warning. And now more cells trying to develop in and around the Little Rock area. But there's that indication right there of the of the winds, uh, the velocity that we have with this storm. Yeah, looking at everything else, Tom, looks like that is definitely the one that I'm seeing that has clearly all the rotation with it. Although there's something might be happening around to northern parts of Montgomery County. We'll have to watch out for that as well. Looks like there might be a cell trying to rotate a little bit more. But of course, the big concern is the one still over Hot Springs Village. And there you see a report of that is baseball size hail very close to Jesseville and we do have pictures of it um, so yeah. let's know when those pictures come around I think from Jesseville. Ready. I think they're ready to show us the hail from from those storms thank you for sending these in there you go that's a huge hailstone right there folks uh, whoever sent that in thank you and there's uh, more hail Jesseville in Garland County thank you JD for letting us know that Th these just just occurred the storm that moved through uh, northern parts of Garland County, Jesseville area, big hail. Do we have another hail pick? This is what's falling from these storms. Uh, we, we want your pictures. Be safe. 
Text them to us, 501-376-1111. But please tell us where you are and who you are. But under no circumstances are you to go outside while it's occurring. Wait till it passes by and uh, send us those hailstones. If you can put it up against something for perspective, uh, the large, like a baseball, tennis ball, uh, even as small as a quarter, half dollar if you have it, just for perspective. We're getting a lot of reports of some giant hail around Central Arkansas. And uh, this is our live winds. This is a look at velocity where we could still see a tornado. Um, tornado warning remains in effect. This is right to the south of Lake Lago. Yeah, the CC dropped again, Tom, a little oh, it bit. Did? So okay. it's, it's could still be on the still ground. Still on the ground, all right. So still definitely take this seriously as it makes its way through Danville Road, uh, towards Antioch Road, Mount Ida Road, Malone Trail, any of those areas sound familiar to you, you have a storm that has a history of producing damage to structures moving through northern parts of Saline County, and it is going to be headed towards Highway 298 and Highway 9, right where that intersection is. So if you're watching us in those locations, get ready because you may have a tornado coming in your direction very shortly. Right here. Okay. Uh, I was just shared some information. We have had some reports of structural damage in and around Hot Springs Village. What was the name of that place again, Jay? Village Nutrition. Uh, pol okay, police and fire are on the scene. They've got uh, trees down, some power lines down, so we do know that we've got damage in and around the Hot Springs Village area tonight. Village Nutrition. Uh, apparently damaged by this tornado. And there it is again. There's the box moving to the east northeast. Perrin, Sling County, your next uh, very intense thunderstorm producing baseball sized tail and a tornado. This is a super south thunderstorm. The only tornado warning we have at this time. And wow, Nathan, I mean, that's that is a ping pong to golf ball sized and larger uh, within that. It looks like uh, the southern cell Lake. is starting to take more of the energy, the, the energy yeah. and that one's starting to power up a little bit more. So we got to watch out for that. It looks like the northern cell might be weakening somewhat, but that southern cell is continuing to strengthen. And you see that there by the hail core. So if that southern cell is strengthening, it's going to take more of a southern route. That may get a little bit closer to West Little Rock. We have to watch out for that. I know you don't want to hear that. West Little Rock, but be prepared. We're dealing with a supercell thunderstorm. You just want to get ready. And I would just make sure that people into western parts of Pulaski County are ready to go, ready to take their tornado precautions at any moment. Have those shoes on. Get the pets all rounded up so you're not looking for them if and when a tornado warning is issued and just be prepared to take your tornado precautions just yeah. in case. Why don't we take a look at our reflectivity mode and, and take it a little broader to show you in, in reference to where Little Rock is located and this cell in Saline County, what Nathan's talking about, that the southern part of that cell taking over, taking the energy away. And uh, here you go. This is uh, going to have some very big hail with it. Here's Little Rock. You got West Little Rock. This was the area that was affected by the tornado March 31st. Uh, if this holds the uh, current roots and moves east, it looks as if the northern part of that cell, the uh, hail part of that, will move over West Little Rock. And then we'll keep an eye on what develops on the southern end here. There's nothing to the south of it, so pretty strong inflow could be coming into that. Uh, I, would, I would say this. If severe thunderstorm warning is in effect. There's no tornado warning yet, but let's, let's pretend like there is. A Villa Martindale. If you live in West Little Rock, even if you live in Salem, uh, folks, just please go ahead and make sure you you have your safe place ready to go, and uh, yeah, get there because uh, this is cycling back up again. Uh, it could produce a tornado. It has produced a tornado, Hot Springs Village, and some very large hail, baseball-sized hail, possibly a little larger than that. Let's go over to Storm Track 11 now. Here is the Enrod tool. Once again, I'll rewind this back to show you the progression of this. And you can see how we just go from blue to some green to yellow at some points. Oh, let me go back here. Um, there you see how the whole storm evolved. It was just a little bit of blue showing a little bit of rotation, and then it blew up right over Hot Springs Village, likely produced a tornado and then weakened a little bit, but then strengthened once again. And now the current situation is it has weakened a little bit more. But when we take a look at the winds within this storm, and I'm going to rewind this back as well, because you'll see the collision 
of the two supercells. There you see that rotation clearly with those darker blues right over Hot Springs Village. But as that southern cell starts to meet up with that cell that likely produced the tornado over Hot Springs Village, there right is some there. interaction going on. And it looks like the rotation is trying to shift a little more to the south, yeah, Tom. Down this direction, yeah, exactly. We have more hail picks. Uh, while we continue with this tornado warning, we have more hail picks. Thank you for sending these in. Uh, this gives you Okay, Hot Springs Village, Laguna Way. Thank you, Bill, from Hot Springs Village. You can see just how large the hailstones are. Uh, it appears to be a quarter up against uh, baseball-sized hail. Thank you, Bill. Near Lake Balboa, again at Hot Springs Village. Hot Springs Village taking a direct hit with uh, the large hail and uh, the tornado tonight. And one more, J.D., do you have another one? Again, we thank you. Thank you all for sending your photos and be safe. 501 376 1111. Uh, this was from Jesseville. This is from Jesseville. Tell us where you're from and who you are. All right, back to radar, Nathan. And see, the, lots of lightning there, Tom. Still a very powerful updraft. And when I take off the lightning, when you have purple showing up on the radar, that is a clear indication we've got some hail happening right over that magenta area into parts of Saline County. So that hail core is about to approach the intersection of Highway 298 and Highway 9. So if you're watching us in that location, you are about to get smacked by quite a bit of hail. And that hail could be maybe larger than golf balls. We've had reports of baseball size hail in some cases with this same storm. So this one means business, but along with that, we're still watching the potential. There could be a tornado yeah. and that rotation is picking up. That blue is picking up. That is the inflow of this cell that tells us this thing is trying to cycle back up and it's trying to take yeah. more of a southern route. So yeah, right I'm here. just going to go ahead and put this on a track just to give a heads up if yeah, there is a tornado that. warning let's just go ahead and give people a heads up because there you see the communities in the path of this dangerous storm right that may produce a tornado they what you said just a moment ago the weather service did say that the tornado warned storm in saline county uh, looks to have been uh, detrimental the the storm merger but the storm could reorganize and cycle again like Nathan's talking about. So whereas it may have knocked out the low level rotation, uh, it, it could still cycle back up. And that's what we're seeing happen uh, again. Saline County, even over western parts of Pulaski County here, thunder and lightning in downtown Little Rock. Storms are beginning to get closer to the metro area in Little Rock. Uh, and, uh, you know, just I would go ahead. There's a new tornado warning. Okay, The new tornado warning. Nathan, you, you were right. Uh, pretty much with that path right there. The new tornado warning has been issued for Saline County, not quite yet touching uh, Pulaski County, but a new tornado warning has just been issued for Saline. Hail could be as large as two and three quarters inches. Uh, that's one aspect of it. And a possible tornado uh, could occur. Hot Springs Village uh, it has produced a tornado moving to the northeast at 20. Very slow movement, Nathan. Yeah, that's that's the good news because people have time to get to their safe place. These are not going 40, 50 miles per hour and they don't have that forward momentum. So hopefully these are F1, maybe, or excuse me, EF1, EF2 tornadoes, even though they're supercells, they don't have that forward momentum. And we haven't seen anything that has screened out anything such as uh, EF3 tornado. But EF2s, EF1s can still do quite a bit of damage, whether it's on roofs or more structural damage. You have to take the situation seriously. And once again, if you're watching us in Ferndale, that storm that may produce a tornado is heading your direction at about 914. It could be a little bit sooner than that. I would certainly be in your safe place by nine o'clock if they extend that tornado warning. It doesn't make its way into Ferndale, but I just want to give you a heads up. Also Spring Valley, 927, Woodland Heights around 935. And there you see if this cell continues to show rotation, it will be moving in. Unfortunately, to mm. western parts western of West, Pulaski, County. Pulaski County and also <laughs> West Little Rock and possibly the same area that was just impacted on March 31st. We're not saying it's going to happen. I know there's a lot of nervous people out there, especially with this path headed in your direction. Hopefully this will weaken, but we're yeah. just trying to give you a heads up. Be prepared. We are dealing with a supercell thunderstorm 
and this has had a history of producing a tornado. So that raises the concern also yeah. because it's nighttime. Let's go back to uh, a reflectivity mode just for a moment. Let's take it out a little bit broader uh, and, and check out our other warnings that we have around Central Arkansas. Of course, the tornado warning that is now for Saline County. Uh, just to give you an idea, here's Saline County. There's the polygon. Here's Western Pulaski County, downtown Little Rock. We've got thunder and lightning here. A severe thunderstorm warning for Grant County, Sheridan. Uh, the cell is just to your southwest, if not over the top of you, and more severe cells to the west of, uh, of Saline and Pulaski County. Another severe thunderstorm warning that's in Montgomery County, Yale County, Perry County. That warning has just expired, um, but this is our big area of concern with the tornado warning. A new one here now for Saline County till 9 o'clock. It's 830. Cells moving very slowly. Uh, 20 miles per hour, plenty of time to take appropriate action if you're in the path of this. Uh, we, we saw one cell in Hot Springs Village that produced a tornado. We're getting damage reports. We've had uh, reports of, of uh, uh, a nutrition shop there in Hot Springs Village that was damaged and some trees and power lines down, a patrol car that was disabled because of uh, the tornado. And now we're beginning to see this storm begin to cycle back up a bit as it's moving in Saline County. Now here's Highway 9. If you live along Highway 9, so for Springs Road, Old Johnson Highway. These are just a few of the places that are going to be impacted by this tornado as it moves to the northeast at 20 miles per hour. Uh, there's Sulphur Springs Road and where Old Johnson Road intersect Johnson Highway. Highway 9, if you know Highway 9 and 298, you're in the path of this storm. There's still Bridge Road way off to the east there, but still within the polygon. Those are just some of the roads that are going to be or some of the places that will be impacted as the cell moves to the northeast. There's Hot Springs Village. The cell's moving out of the village and now is entirely in Saline County and will make it toward the western part of Pulaski County here around the 9 o'clock time period. So you've got time now uh, to take your appropriate measures, get everything ready to go. Uh, and, and you know what? With a day like today, hopefully everybody has a severe weather plan in place. Hopefully you've planned ahead for weather like this. Uh, Nathan's dropped a little marker here that shows you where the strongest rotation is located. Uh, do we see anything? On our uh, CC, do we see any kind of uh, debris signature? Nathan, have you seen anything? I do not. Here? I do just not. checked it okay. um, with the NROD tool, our rotation pinpoint tool. It is showing a little blue area, uh, really about to approach Highway 9. Right here. And uh, just to the south of the intersection of Highway 9 and 298, it looks like, Tom. Also, looking at the cloud heights of this cell, they came down. But uh -huh. now they're going back up. Okay. So that updraft is kicking in once again. And with this blue, brighter blue showing up, this thing is trying to wrap up once again. So yeah, there may right not be here. a tornado happening at this moment, but it could happen certainly very soon. Okay, uh, let's take a little bit of a, of a broader perspective. Uh, there's the area of concern, the couplet that we're talking about. Here's Pulaski County, there's Ferndale, uh, West Little Rock, Martindale area. You've got the Chennault uh, neighborhoods, you've got uh, Woodlands Edge, you've got, uh, you know, once again, those places that were affected by the storm last year. This cell looks like it's going to move over some of those same areas. If it holds its current path, it would be somewhere between Ferndale and the Martindale community out to the west, West Little Rock. Again, there's Highway 10. You've got Chennault and Financial Center Parkway. It's going to move over almost the exact same area. And if, if anything, you're going to get some very large hail out of this supercell as well. Baseball-sized hail is possible as this storm continues to move to the northeast. We've seen several supercell thunderstorms tonight. We had the tornado risk. Also, the big threat was the large hail, and we have seen pictures. Thank you for sending those over. Be safe. 501-376-1111 is the number. You can text those our way, but get out of harm's way first. Don't uh, go out in, in the thunderstorm and pick up things. Uh, but you are the eyes and ears of the community. We appreciate you sending those uh, our way. Just take the appropriate means at home. Find the centermost place of, of your home. If you've got a basement, go to the basement. Make sure you cover up your head with something, uh, a bike helmet. Uh, Nathan had a great idea. Put a, a big pan over your head, something to cover up your head, pillows, blankets, 
You've got your phone. Hopefully you've got the THV11 app uh, downloaded. You can stream. If the power goes out, you can stream and we'll walk you through it. Uh, currently looking at a tornado warned storm in Saline County. It's moving to the northeast at 20 miles per hour, getting awfully close to where Highway 9 is located. If you know where Highway 9 and 298 are located, just a little to the south, Highway 9 north of Crows, Arkansas, and it's going to follow a very familiar path, a very similar path from the 31st tornado from last year in western parts of Pulaski County. There are the locations. Once again, Ferndale 907 if it holds its current path. Twin Springs at 913. You got Woodlands Heights at 927. And Maumelle, Marche, you folks are not out of the woods either. This is going to impact you here in the next hour. Uh, Tom, we can go over to Storm Track 11. This is the latest from Power Outage US. When we put the cursor over Garland County, there are about 3,400 and almost 50 customers are without power in Garland County. And looking at Energy's map, you can clearly see the outages are right over a large part of Hot Springs, but also into the Jesseville area. So some locations in Hot Springs Village still have electricity, according to this, other locations did run out of electricity. And just to let you know, if you do run out of power, we also are streaming live on the THV 11 app and also Facebook. But back over to looking at the radar with this cell still producing some rotation. It's not significant rotation, but it is still definitely trying to spin something up as it makes its way closer to Pulaski County. Let's go back over to Max 1 now. When we take a look at those winds once again, if there is something happening with this cell, because this is still a Doppler radar indicated tornado earlier, we do had we did have a tornado into the Hot Springs Village. It probably lifted back in the clouds and now it's trying to cycle up once again with a southern cell. So Highway 9, that's where this rotation is located. If there's going to be a tornado, it's going to be right around Highway 9. And when we take a look at some of the roads, uh, fortunately, this is a quite hilly area and hopefully it just happens over the woods and doesn't affect anybody's homes. But still want to take it seriously if you're located within that warning polygon. So there's Highway 298. We've got Lancaster Road. We've got Sanders Ford Road. Also, we have looks like Lake Norrell Road. It will be affecting Lake Norrell. That's a popular camping spot. So hopefully people have certainly heeded the warning and have gotten to a safe place in that part of Saline County. Most likely into southern parts of or excuse me, northern parts of Saline County. It's more of a wilderness area. But nonetheless, this cell is getting closer and closer to Pulaski County. The rotation is continuing to increase scan by scan as it gets closer to Pulaski County moving through Saline County. So again, West Little Rock, West Pulaski County, you're not under a tornado warning at this time, but looking at the structure of this cell, it has me concerned. You know, Nathan, uh, I went back and looked at uh, a storm track 11 and put it in motion and, and you could certainly see where it cycled down and now it is spinning up once again. Along with that, the hail is very, very big with this storm. Baseball sized hail is possible. But yeah, that rotation is now just beyond Highway 9. Uh, the next point it's going to cross is 298. It looks as if it has it more of an eastern jog or an east jog to it than northeast. But you can see the inflow notch right here. There is the classic appendage. hook echo. That's what we look for in this purple area right here along 298 south of Perrin, Highway 9 and 298. This is where we're finding the really big hail. If it continues to move to the east, northeast, it is going to move into Pulaski County and you will get some uh, a baseball sized hail out of this or maybe a little bit smaller, but this is a very uh, impressive supercell thunderstorm that just continues to cycle up and down, producing a tornado in Hot Springs Village. And there's the polygon. If you were to follow that, I think it lo looks like it's moving a little more east rather than northeast. But still, uh, between Ferndale, Martindale, West Little Rock, here is 430, Highway 10. You could extend Chanel out here. It's going to be those western neighborhoods, those neighborhoods, uh, you know, in, in West Little Rock. If you live in West Little Rock, those folks are going to be impacted as it moves across Saline County into western Pulaski County. Right there. Yeah, Tom, I don't like to see that structure at all. That's a classic hook echo. It absorbed that southern cell. It reorganized. The magenta clearly shows this is a very intense storm 
moving through North Saline County, about to enter into western parts of Pulaski County. And I think the likelihood now of hail is certainly a good possibility in West Little Rock. So there could be hail, tennis ball to baseball size, moving into Pulaski County if this cell maintains its strength. And when we look at it, there's nothing down to the south to impede this storm's inflow, to impede this storm's strength. So if you're watching us in western parts of Pulaski County, I'm not only concerned just about the tornado potential, but you could see potentially destructive hail. So if you have a chance right now to get your car in a garage or something like that, I would advise that if you are probably in, I would say certainly West Little Rock, pretty much the same area that got affected by the tornado, but the promenade, uh, Wildwood, the hail core is gonna be to the north of where the tornado potentially will develop. So once again, right. when you take a look at this hail now tool, it may be off a little bit. I would shift that a little farther, a little farther to, the, to north. the north. Yeah, uh, and we have a comparison for you. Just real quick, let's go to Max 2. Uh, we talk about the size of hail, hail comparison. We say two inches, two and a half inch hail. This is what you're comparing it to. Tennis ball sized hail is two and a half. We're getting reports of baseball sized hail, two and three quarters. And, and that's some very large destructive hail. That's gonna put holes in roofs. That's gonna damage your cars. Uh, Let's hope that uh, you can get stuff covered up in time before it affects you. Uh, if you have pictures of this, hold on to it, send it to us, wait till the storm passes. We do encourage you to send uh, your photos our way, but to be safe about it. Okay, let's go back to, uh, um, let's go ahead and go back to Max 1 and take a good look at uh, where the warning is once again and the hail. Ping pong, the golf ball sized hail near 298 and Highway 9 near Perrin. Uh, strong updraft here producing large hail. Movement is to the northeast. I think that the main area of concern, the, the spin is moving a little more easterly. Uh, it's going to be awfully close. Uh, Villa, Martindale, out toward western Pulaski County. Some of the, you know, these West Little Rock neighborhoods keep a close eye on it. There's Highway 10. Uh, you've got Chenal Parkway. If we could extend this, it turns into Financial Center, then Chenal Parkway, and it uh, travels a little bit to the north there. Pinnacle Mountain State Park uh, is in the path, but I think on the northern side. Uh, Walmart out west, here's Chenal Mountain. This is where all the TV towers are located. That storm may very well produce some big hail out over Chenal Mountain. Canis Road, Colonel Glen Road. If you live along and around those areas, here's the promenade uh, off of Chenal. I'm just, just prepping you here. The storm's not going to weaken. It's going to hold together, and it may produce a tornado once again out over western parts of Pulaski County. But a very, very impressive uh, hail core with this supercell, Nathan. Yes, yes, Tom. That is a very impressive updraft with this system. Oh, this storm is going up into the atmosphere about 50,000 feet. It has dropped somewhat. There was a bullseye of red a little bit earlier. If this scan wants to work going back, it's a little bit lagged here. But um, when we take a look at the, this is known as the probability of severe hail on Storm Track 11 now, uh, this white area, that basically says this is 100% chance of severe hail. Now, this was when it was three quarter inch would make it severe. But you see that triangle? That's three inch size hail, certainly a possibility. When we take a look at another tool here, this is known as maxim maximum estimated hail size, and this magenta is estimating hail size of over two inches. If it holds together, it is gonna get right over Ferndale, and then probably uh, very close to the intersection of Cantrell and Chenal. Ooh. So, promenade, you may get clipped certainly by some hail, Hopefully it's not going to be the destructive kind, but there you see the latest update now, and it looks like it's dropped somewhat. So it's not showing the two inch size hail as much anymore, except just a few pixels here and there. So I think the odds of seeing probably, uh, certainly over a quarter inch size hail are pretty high as this cell makes its way into western parts of Pulaski County. And quarter size hail or larger can do damage to uh, cars to roofs, but we are looking at the potential that this could be golf ball size hail or even larger than that if this cell continues to strengthen as it gets closer to Pulaski County. Looking at the That's winds now, Tom, right the rotation is still there. Still there, right it, here. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's not screaming out to me, 
Okay. But a little it's broader. still there. Yeah, still there, a little broader in the rotation there. Uh, Perrin, just to your south, uh, this, this is where we're finding the indication that we could have another tornado. This is Saline County, the warning, the polygon here. It is just to the west of Pulaski County, moving through central Saline County at this time, north and east of Owensville. Salem, it's to the west, northwest of you. It looks as if it's going to follow a path. And there's a, it looks like it tightened up on that last scan right there, Nathan. Just a little bit more of a, of a tightening. Uh, let's hope not. Big hail with it. I, I thought what you showed just a moment ago was very impressive. The hail size, or at least the, the, the breadth of the thunderstorm that could produce some damaging hail. And this is our, our NROD, our rotation tool, showing that you know, it's not as impressive as it was in Hot Springs Village, but still, there's some rotation there. Yeah. Rotating wall clouds, certainly. A wrapped up and you know what? Geography plays a role, Tom. Sure. So we'll have yeah. to see what happens as this cell makes its way over the Washita's. And as that inflow moves through the mountains and valleys, if it enhances this cell or weakens it, because geography can play a part in the destruction of a supercell thunderstorm or the enhancement of it as well. Yeah. Let's go back over to Max, because I know a lot of people are like, well, what's happening outside of Little Rock Metro? The chance of severe weather is really going down for a large part of the region right now. And the strongest cell that we're dealing with is the one into Saline County and about to enter into Pulaski County. We'll take a look at the radar. Yes, there's a lot of thunder and lightning out there, especially just to the north of the metro. This is all shifting its way down to the south and southeast. So with more mergers of these storms, the chance of severe weather will be on the decrease. It's these lone discrete cells like the one that we have over Saline County moving into Pulaski County that has the greater likelihood of producing big hail but also the potential of a tornado. Nothing's yeah. been happening really in South Arkansas, Tom, but Not we still yet. have that tornado watch until yeah. midnight. Uh, let me pass some good news along. Severe thunderstorm warning for Grant County has expired. The severe thunderstorm warning for Conway, Faulkner, and Perry counties have been canceled. Uh, some good news there. So, you know, really our focus is uh, Saline County, Pulaski County with the severe thunderstorm warning and that tornado warning. Uh, in that is now in central Saline County getting reports uh, one and a half inch hail Montgomery County through an observer Saline County uh, we still have of course, that tornado warning in effect baseball sized hail is certainly a possibility with this cell as uh, it moves to the east northeast and Let's hope it weakens even more. Let's hope that uh, the structure of the storm comes down a bit. Here's western Pulaski County. Uh, you've got uh, the Pinnacle Mountain State Park area anywhere around this region. If it continues to move to the northeast, uh, then it will affect these western areas of Pulaski County and even West Little Rock. Uh, back in those uh, Chanel uh, neighborhoods, uh, Woodsgate, Woodlands Edge. Uh, you've got some other neighborhoods around those. Just, just those that are off the top of my head. I know there's more there, but you can see uh, where the hail was here and then it picked up here. The cell merger occurred in the southern extent of that cell took over and we have that uh, tornado warning still till nine o'clock, uh, 13 minutes away. I hope it goes away, but I wouldn't be surprised if the weather service extended it. Well, looking at uh, storm track 11, Tom, that rotation continues to weaken and broaden. Out. We're not seeing a tight couplet as much anymore. With that said, though, you still do not want to let your guard down. And this tornado warning may or may not be extended into Pulaski County. There is the cell. It doesn't show that appendage or hook as much as it did just a couple scans ago. You see that cell merger? Yep. It got it that is. uptick. And now it looks like there's another cell trying to develop down to the south of it. So it may be struggling to get some of that inflow in for that rotation to maintain itself. But this is still producing big, in some cases, giant hail. When we take a look at that maximum estimated hail size, it's approaching the border of Saline County and Pulaski County, and we're still getting the estimated hail size possibly over an inch and a half, but there's still some two inches here, but looks like it may be weakening just a little bit. So hopefully that continues to be a trend and they have dropped that tornado warning. Oh, they have. It looks like. Okay. Let me make sure. Did not, I did not see it. Let me uh, take a look at the warning here on uh, 
Oh, no, it was hiding on me. Um, it's still no. there. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Warning still. Okay. It was hiding on me, so. It's okay. Uh, I thought we were checking. It, you know, it looked like some kind of boundary was also lifting to the north that may have undercut that cell a bit as well. I noticed that, uh, you know, a, a s more significant cell out over Pulaski County lifting to the north, but I think maybe got undercut by it, but it could again reemerge. Uh, there's a little bit of a loop here, a little bit of a of a signature, but notice how broad it is. It's not as tightly compact, certainly some good news, still capable of producing the large hail, uh, but could be going through a down cycle. It, I hope it falls apart. I don't want any more of this, uh, but there you go. Looking at that cell out in uh, Saline County, we still have the warning. Severe thunderstorm warning is in effect. Got a good, you're going to get close with some of this big hail toward the Pinnacle Mountain area, even near Ferndale. Be on the lookout for some of that large hail, and we'll keep an eye on this area here that's to the south that has the potential of producing a tornado. Again, no warning, not yet. Uh, that warning is going to expire here in 11 minutes. We've had numerous severe thunderstorm warnings this evening. Uh, and hail has been the common thread. We've had a few tornado warnings. One confirmed Hot Springs Village. Uh, the village was hit by one. And uh, I would imagine that we've got uh, some crews checking in on things for us. J.D., are you still up there, Kevin? Can, okay. Can you fill us in on what you, you're hearing from Hot Springs Village? All right. While you do that, we'll take a, one more look at the NROT tool right here. All right. Garland County Emergency Management. Damage along Highway 7, okay. Okay, no deaths or injuries, certainly some good news. That, that's the best news, no deaths, no injuries, but some damage from this tornado. Okay, there you go, a tornado warning remains in effect till now. We have more pictures that we want to share those now, JD. Well, we got them, let's go ahead. Okay, more from Hot Springs Village, keep them coming in. There's a golf ball, and right next to the golf ball, you get a, an idea of the size of hail. Thank you for sending that. Big hail, more hail. Uh, looks like two and a half to three inch hail with the measuring tape there. All of this from Hot Springs Village, big hail, spiky hail in some instances. Uh, this is what's uh, being carried with those big uh, supercell thunderstorms. Is that it? Okay, 501-376-1111, that is our number to text in. Uh, the text in your photos, make sure you, you tell us where you are and who you are so that we can give you proper credit. Here's the severe thunderstorm warning that covers Celine and Pulaski. There's your tornado warning till 9 o'clock. We're nine minutes away from that, still no sign from the National Weather Service uh, if they're going to extend it, but we did see where the couplet was spreading out a bit. Circulation is broadening a bit. So that's certainly some good news with this particular cell. But as we've seen, they go through these cycles where they go up and down, they weaken and they strengthen. But still stay on the guard out western parts of Pulaski County around the Ferndale area. Uh, you're going to be in the path, uh, at least of the hail core as it moves into western Pulaski County. The warning till nine o'clock for the tornado and the severe thunderstorm. So we're going to get an update either way. They're either going to extend the severe thunderstorm warning through north central and uh, central Pulaski County, or we'll get a tornado warning. We'll wait and see. Nathan? Uh, Tom, when we take a look at the reports that are coming out, you got the hail reports. There's a damage report. We'll just query this real quick. Okay. So there you see uh, Jesseville with hail size of 2.8 inches and hail size of two and three quarter inches. That's baseball size hail. So it was even larger than a baseball right over Jesseville. And then there's the damage around Hot Springs Village being reported. Uh, roof blown off a house and that happened around 809. So that clearly matches up with what happened there with that confirmed tornado on Doppler radar. We are still watching this cell. It is still an intense cell producing hail. Uh, very, very heavy rain or torrential rainfall as it makes its way through uh, parts of Saline County and it continues to travel its way into Pulaski County. So when we take a look at the winds with that cell, once again, we're still seeing rotation, but it's not a tight couplet. So hopefully this is continuing to be a trend, whether or not they will extend the tornado warning into Pulaski County or not. I think they just want to see what's happening because we know that cell that happened March 31st it made its way from Saline County into Pulaski County and it wrapped up very quickly. So hopefully that's not a repeat of what we see out there this evening, 
but again, you have a supercell thunderstorm. You never want to write anything off. Here is the hail right now being reported or being seen. That has come down significantly, Tom. Oh, it has. Been. We are not seeing yep. any more orange. Mm -hmm. It is blue. So that is some good news. However, they just went with a tornado warning into mm -hmm. West Little Rock and including a large part of Little Rock. So the tornado sirens are going sirens. to be going off and it is the same area that was affected by the March 31st tornado. So I know don't panic. Just get to your safe place. If you live and in, in an apartment, you want to go to the lowest level of that apartment building, make friends with the neighbors downstairs because you do not want to be on the top floor of an apartment. This is a Doppler radar indicated tornado. It does look like this storm is trying to weaken, but I think the National Weather Service is just taking it safe. And with sure it thing. being night, they're going to go ahead and extend that tornado warning okay. to include West Little Rock and the same area that was Why hit back on March 31st. Let's do this, Nathan. Let's go back to uh, our reflectivity. Let's take off the lightning just so that we can see where the where the hook echo is and follow this on through. This is the area of concern right here that we're talking about tornado warning. This is going to move into about roughly the same area. If you live in West Little Rock, those West Little Rock neighborhoods and uh, you got Chenal Mountain here, uh, Chenal, I would say uh, if you if you live near the promenade, uh, like Nathan said, make friends with somebody on a lower level if you're in an apartment. Lots of apartments out there, lots of homes out there, these neighborhoods. Uh, find your safe place, center most part of your home, a lowest level of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as you can, stay away from windows. You know, this is some of the things that we uh, mention uh, whenever, we, whenever you consider tornado safety. So this right in here is the area near Lake Norrell that it could have a tornado with it. We showed you just a few moments ago, though, the, the area of, of rotation had broadened out. And when it broadens out, it weakens, but it could be tightening up again. And we'll take a look at some, uh, some of our tools that will help us determine whether or not it's strengthening. If it has gone through a down cycle, it's uh, going now cycling back up and moving into western parts of Pulaski County. This is the area of concern. Large hail moving over Ferndale. Uh, there's uh, Brush Mountain, Ferndale. Pinnacle, if you live out toward the Pinnacle, Pinnacle Valley area, uh, Pinnacle Mountain State Park, Highway 10, and West Little Rock, you're probably going to see the large hail out of this storm as the tornado or the possible tornado tracks back across the same areas or near the same area that was affected back on March 31st uh, of last year. And we're getting close to the anniversary of that. So just calmly get the kids, take them to your safe place and uh, cover up their heads with pillows, blankets, something that will protect them. And that's the key, Tom. Stay calm. Stay calm. Go ahead and take your tornado precautions. Lowest level of a sturdy structure. Get into your interior hallway, into your closet, into your bathroom. Grab some pillows, grab a mattress. You do have time. This is moving about 25 miles per hour to the east and northeast. Make sure you go ahead and put your shoes on. Get a um, bicycle helmet. Get a football helmet for the kids. Anything to protect their heads just in case the worst happens. This is a supercell thunderstorm. Once again, it is a lone thunderstorm. It has had a history of producing damage in Hot Springs Village. I don't think we're looking at the potential of a strong tornado here in Little Rock. I think if there is something, it will be a weaker tornado. But if it hits your home, it's still a big deal and it can still be big trouble. So once again, We've got a tornado warning that has been issued now for western parts of Pulaski County, and it does include West Little Rock, and it does include a large part of Little Rock. This is a Doppler radar indicated tornado. Looking at the rotation, the rotation is there, but it's not really screaming out to me that we do have a tornado on the ground at this moment. Could that change? It hmm. certainly can, and with it being at night, you just want to take the safest route possible and take this seriously. 
just in case the worst happens. If we can, this is a request for, for our producer. Let's take our camera shot that's looking west, angle it up a little bit so that we can look into the storm as it comes into downtown Little Rock. Thank you very much. Uh, take all the, the advice that, that we've been providing you tonight, hopefully some helpful information. Calmly do it. Uh, you know, the one thing we want to make sure is that, that you know what to do, what the right thing to do in a situation like this with yet another possible tornado. Tornado warning until 9 o'clock uh, and now till 945 covering up Pulaski County. The sirens are going off. If you live in western Little Rock, now's the time to take appropriate measures. You've got a few minutes. Here's the area. They're looking at the area of concern, kind of the inflow there. Uh, that purplish area would be the very large hail that, that we've seen tonight. Uh, movement is to the east-northeast. This is going to affect the west Little Rock neighborhoods again near Chenal Mountain and uh, those uh, neighborhoods that are close to Chennault. Uh, once again, places that were affected, you know, last spring, gonna get awfully close. We can take the outside shot. Let's see if we can see a bunch of lightning out of the storm as it approaches from the west, and you can see the lightning in the, in the distance there, Nathan. It's uh, getting close downtown Little Rock. And you know what, uh, if it uh, gets close to us, we'll take appropriate measures as well. But let's hope, let's hope that it doesn't come to that and that the storm will weaken as it gets closer to Little Rock tonight. Okay, thank you for that camera shot. And uh, let's go back to, to radar. Once again, Ferndale, you're getting ready to be hit with some very big hail if you're not already experiencing the very big hail. Here at Chenal Mountain, this is, again, I mentioned this, this is where all the uh, television towers are located. When you drive into Little Rock, West Little Rock, and you look up and you got all those towers, yeah, that's what's there. Pinnacle Mountain is across the way, not far. There's the Walmart Supercenter. Uh, this area may get some very large hail out of the storm as it moves east northeast. We're keeping a close eye on what's going on near a villa uh, here in Saline County, Pulaski County. This is where some of that rotation is located. Movement is to the east northeast. You've got plenty of time to get into your safe place. Anything new, Nathan? Uh, Tom, I'm just looking at every tool at our disposal to see exactly what this cell is doing. Again, this is a Doppler radar indicated tornado. When we take a look at Storm Track 11, it did have that classic hook echo signature. It's still there. So it's still definitely an intense storm. Uh, quite a bit of hail, some large hail, very close to approaching Ferndale because you're on the, the hail core part of this storm, but it's just down to the south of the hail core. If there is a rotation that's gonna drop down to the ground, it's gonna be just to the south of Ferndale. When we take a look at the winds, we are still seeing a little bit of a couplet, uh, certainly nothing as tight as what we saw back on March 31st, but we have to watch what happens once again as it makes its way over the mountains between or hills between Saline County and Pulaski County to see if that actually enhances the cell or weakens it. And we just don't know until that makes its way across the border into Pulaski County. The tornado sirens are going off once again. That's because the tornado warning remains in effect and all of Pulaski County is probably going to hear the tornado sirens. So you're probably hearing them down into Wrightsville and also into southern parts of Pulaski County. The tornado threat is not for you. It is for really central and western parts of Pulaski County. There's the latest scan. When we take a look at the rotation tool with this cell, we're not seeing anything really that concerns me to say this is about to produce a tornado at any moment, but you have to take it seriously. Once again, take your tornado precautions just in case we have something that drops from the cloud down to the ground. It's about to approach the border of Saline County into Pulaski County, very close to Ferndale. What I'm highlighting here is this blue area where I'm circling with the cursor right now, that's where the rotation is going to be located. The other aspect of this is the potential of hail. When we take a look at that, there's the hail core right over Ferndale, where it could be an inch and a half size hail in diameter, and that's ping pong ball size hail. So that will do some damage to some roofs and also some cars. But the main concern that we have with this cell is once again, the potential of a tornado happening at any moment as this rotation begins to make its way into West Little Rock over those same areas that were hit by the March 31st tornado. 
Once again, yep. I don't think this is going to be a strong tornado. I don't think we have enough wind energy for this to be a strong tornado. But any tornado can still do significant yeah. damage and also can injure people. So you want to take this seriously. And once again, calmly go to your safe place. Yeah. Quarter size tail is being reported at Denny Road and uh, Waldenwood Lane in West Little Rock. So yeah, Ferndale is getting the brunt of the hail. If we can go back to max one, you will see the ref uh, reflectivity, the reflection of that. These areas of purple from near Chenal Mountain and Ferndale, that's where the big hail is located at this time. And the area that we're following is right about in this general area. Broad rotation, not as impressive, but the tornado warning continues. Uh, this is going to follow follow a path to the east, northeast. And again, uh, you got the, the West Little Rock Walmart, Walmart on Bowman. This is going to cross over the Martindale area and get awfully close there to the promenade on Chennault. There's Canis Road, Colonel Glen Road. Uh, yeah, this is moving over East Colonel Glen right now and uh, the Ferndale uh, Fern Cliff Road out in uh, Western Pulaski County, Eastern Saline County. Movement is to the northeast. If this uh, continues the same path, here are some of the places it'll be affected. Twin Springs, Spring Valley, Panky. Uh, that's uh, near Cantrell Road 929. This is going to move uh, near the, the Cantrell and 430 interchange. There's Canis, there's Promenade, Wildwood, uh, Chanel Downs Boulevard. If you are familiar with Chanel Downs, uh, this is going to take a path over those areas in West Little Rock. Uh, keeping an eye on this area here. This is where we're finding the rotation. Uh, this inflow notch you can see kind of wrapping around once again, but it's broad right now and hopefully it will stay that way. I think the big concern right now, along with the warning, is the large hail that is moving over the Ferndale area. We do have the picture of hail in Ferndale. Thank you. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. This is what's falling in Ferndale right now. It looks like it's penny sized. I'll take it uh, penny sized tail, but it could get even larger than that. And if you have a picture you would like to share with us, 501-376-1111. Courtney, thank you for sending that our way. Uh, let's go back to the uh, take a look outside. Roger, as this thunderstorm gets closer to downtown Little Rock, lots of lightning now. As we take a look at our camera shot, just watch the light. Lots of folks out on the roadways. I hope that uh, they're listening to the uh, listening to a radio that is picking us up. Let's go to Cantrell Road. We've got our RDOT cameras. This is looking west toward the Chenal Mountain area. As this severe thunderstorm is now moving over West Little Rock, and could produce baseball-sized hail. Could produce a tornado as well. But this area of Cantrell, uh, more in line of getting uh, some, some large hail at this time. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, all right, let's go back to radar now. And, and again, we're keeping an eye on what's going on. Here's Chenal Mountain, the Ferndale area. This is the area we're finding uh, the possibility of some rotation. Tornado warning remains in effect till 945. Did they just shave a little bit of that off, Nathan? Did you know? Did you see an, an adjustment? I think we just saw the box get adjusted a little bit there quite possibly. Maybe it was yeah, the they other just, one. They just took a little bit out of uh, Saline County and now just focused it on Pulaski County. Okay. Uh, can we can we take it out a little bit broader? There we go. Uh, here's Highway 10, otherwise known as uh, Cantrell or uh, yeah, Cantrell Road, Highway 10 area. There's Pinnacle Mountain State Park, a large uh, area of, of hail moving over and near Pinnacle Mountain State Park. Uh, could, could contain some large hail. And Highway 10, uh, 430, you've got uh, a Financial Center Parkway, Chenal Parkway, getting some big hail out in those West Little Rock neighborhoods right now. And there's the area, the little appendage that we're keeping an eye on that is going to move to the east northeast over downtown Little Rock. Once again, very similar path to last spring. And Tom, I'm just continuing to look at information. Um, also, let's just spend it out here because we do have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, from the northern parts of the viewing area through Faulkner County into White County. That is all associated with some very gusty winds. So we haven't forgotten you folks. It's just a tornado warning for the metro is going to take a little more notice versus a severe thunderstorm warning, but certainly stay away from windows and don't be outside, of course, as this wall of wind moves through Faulkner County, Greenbrier, uh, Conway, Valonia, Cabot, Ward, BB, Gardner. That's going to be a wall of wind, 50, maybe as high as 60 miles per hour that could knock down some tree limbs and also produce some power outages. 
That's a severe thunderstorm warning. This is the main concern we have right now is the tornado warning. So everything really is happening now over central Arkansas with the one tornado warning left over in Yell County and Montgomery County. So we got three different types of warnings over the THV 11 viewing area. But of course, we are really watching this cell moving closer and closer to West Little Rock. It does have a quite a bit of inflow, Tom, right here, yeah. but we are watching and waiting and <clears throat> praying that it does not produce anything. Right. It can rotate all at once as long yeah. as it stays in the clouds. Yeah. You, you know, one of the places uh, that we talked about just a moment ago that uh, it, we put a storm track over the top of it, Panky. Panky's on Highway 10. Uh, it's near the Sam Peck Road area. It looks as if this is going to take a path near there. We showed uh, the 430 and Highway 10 area looking back toward the west. Uh, this may veer back to the northeast. Here's the promenade. Uh, you've got Canis Road. Let's see. Um, Ferncliff Road. This is where we're finding a broad area of circulation. Maybe, maybe cycling back up. Man, let's hope not. Uh, this is the area it's going to affect. Here's Henson Road. If you know where Rawling Road is located, uh, the promenade is over uh, Chanel and Rawling Road area. Uh, this is going to travel awfully close to those neighborhoods and apartments over there. I if you live on a second or third level of an apartment complex, hopefully you've got a friend on the first level that will let you come down and, and take shelter with them. Uh, if not, make friends quickly before this gets uh, closer to you. There's the area of concern right now. The center, or I should say the area of rotation moving over Congo Ferndale, and uh, that's near the Ferncliff Road area out over eastern Saline County, moving into the western part of Pulaski County. A couple of landmarks. We the Dollar General stores, if you know where those are, right now it looks like it's between Dollar General stores or the, the location of the rotation, and it's moving to the northeast. Here's Canis Road. If you know where Canis Road is, uh, then you're going to be impacted there. Chanel Parkway over toward uh, not only the promenade, but we could see some large hail up toward the club, uh, Snow Country Club in that regard. And then from there, we get back to the area. Here's 430 Highway 10, Pleasant Ridge, uh, Rodney Parham, uh, the areas that were affected last year. We're going to put a, uh, another track on it and we'll adjust the, uh, uh, the view just a little. Um, the only real community, Ivesville, but uh, more importantly, the roads that will pop through here are what we're looking at. Uh, there's the Walmart. This is uh, the circulation area is getting it awfully close to that area. Margosh and all Parkway. Oh, goodness. Taylor Loop um, traveling to the northeast. And if you don't see, uh, I'd say you'd probably see some large hail with this as well. So it looks like it may be just to the west of what happened of back on March time. 31st. Yeah. So just a, a mile or so to the west, it looks like if there is something that is going to be happening with this storm, it's going to be very close to, like we said, the promenade, uh, Wildwood, the park there, Chanel Parkway, Taylor Loop. So if you're watching us, down to the south, the rotation has ticked up a little bit more, Tom. Uh, let's go over to Storm Track 11. Now my concern is going up a little bit more. You can clearly see the rotation is picked up a little bit right there with that red and blue showing up a little bit more. We take a look at the rotation button. It is also ticked up. So now the chance of a tornado from this cell has gone up somewhat. So hopefully, if you've been watching us, you are in your safe place, especially if you are in those areas that I just called out for around the promenade, Wildwood, Chanel Parkway, Rowling Road, Taylor Loop Road, Henson Road towards Pleasant Ridge. It looks like this rotation is just going to be oh, potentially to the west of what was hit back on March 31st. Yeah, and the rotation just is to, picking up. Right, and and this is this is Chanel right here. Uh, you've got uh, because I live out in this area, I'm very familiar with it. Uh, the Walmart Super Center here, and on up the road, this is uh, Chanel Mountain. So the circulation is going to go over the mountain where our towers are. It appears uh, there it is. There's the area of concern. There's Ferndale, Highway 10, Pinnacle Mountain. Uh, if you live out uh, on the mountain or near Chanel Mountain, this is going to be awfully close to you. So, yeah, uh, in those Chanel neighborhoods, uh, Aberdeen area, this is going to be awfully close there as it tracks to the northeast. You've got uh, Little Rock Christian School. Now, Joe T. Robinson's a little to the west of that. Arkansas Baptist, and before you get over here to the uh, interchange. But, yeah, this is going to travel over some of those uh, a little far, like Nathan said, a little farther to the west 
and north of where it was last year. And yeah, it's cycling up once again. So if it's not for the big hail, oh, just dropped off, but we're going to keep an eye on it. It may be going up the mountain. You know, the topography might be affecting it just a bit. It's something we uh, take a look at as well. And that's what happened. The topography enhanced that storm back on March 31st. Let's go back over to Max 1 now. I've got the roads really zoomed in. So if there's something happening right now, it is going to be right over Woodland Acres, Colonel Glen Road, Whispering Pine Road, Right, right on here. the border of Saline County and into Pulaski County. This is a Doppler radar indicated tornado. We're not seeing any evidence of this touching the ground just yet, but as it makes its way over those hills, it's something we'll definitely have to watch out for and we'll continue to see if this rotation uh, picks up or if it weakens. So once again, if you're watching us in this part of Pulaski County, Wildwood, Ferndale, the Promenade, Chanel Club Boulevard, uh, anywhere within Chanel Mountain, also Chanel Parkway, the Quartz Boulevard, those areas of West Little Rock do have the potential of seeing a tornado shortly. Yeah. And you just wanna make sure you're taking this very seriously. Don't panic, interior hallway, interior closet, interior bathroom, grab pillows, grab a blanket, get in the bathtub, Bicycle helmet, football yeah. helmet. Don't right. forget to put your shoes on and also round up the pets. Get to that safe place right now. I was going to say that the weather service says this couplet, this, this area of concern is only moving 15 miles per hour. Very slow, very, very slow. Got time to, to make a determination and find your safe place to get out of the way of this thing. Um, but yeah, there you go. Strong winds here. Uh, it, did you mean to put that there, or Nathan? The that was old scan. Okay, so an old scan. Okay, so it's yeah, it's right around here. Burlingame Road, uh, Walnut Grove Road, Chanel Downs and Canis Road. This is where the rotation is traveling at this time. Um, let's see. Um, okay, if let's take a look outside real quick, just if we can see. I know it's dark and it's stormy, rainy, and everything. While we reposition the, the radar map there, should be seeing a lot of lightning looking back toward. Take the camera and point it back toward Chenal Mountain, guys. Uh, take it a little bit farther to the north here. If you can, move the camera. This is 630. We want to go that way with the camera while we have it uh, out and about. And we'll let you do that and we'll go back to radar. And then when you guys get it set up, let us know. All right, there we go. Thank you. Uh, moving over Wildwood and Canis Road now, the area of concern. Here's the Promenade, Chanel Parkway. This is going to be moving. Uh, you got the Walmart there. This is going to go Chanel Parkway. Going to be close to the Aberdeen neighborhood. There's Taylor Loop Road. Uh, Don Roberts is over here as well. So these areas will be, be impacted by this storm. You've got it moved now. Okay, let's take a look outside and see if we can see anything at all. A lot of moisture, a lot of rain. Probably won't see much if anything at all uh, with all of the uh, with the rain that we have with these uh, severe thunderstorms and just just a lot of lightning. All right, uh, Nathan, I'll turn things back to you. All right, Tom, looking at uh, the loop there with uh, the live winds and we are still watching rotation. Once again, nothing has been confirmed. I'm trying to also look at our debris detector to see if there is anything we can see on the debris detector that's not showing up but there is definitely a little more concern of a little bit of a donut happening um, on the rain part of the radar so we take a look at the rain part of the radar take off all this lightning because there's a whole bunch of lightning out there it's something known as a bounded weak echo region so that's mm -hmm. what we have to watch out for and it's like that little donut area that you have to watch out for um, they're seeing they're seeing it on uh, the 4.4 degree to 5 degree scan. So if there's something, it's, it's going to be very close to Ferndale, very close to the promenade, and it's going to make its way off to the northeast. So we're just yeah. trying to play it safe. We don't want right to panic here. anybody, yeah. but we also don't want to miss anything. And I'm just trying to flip back and forth with all the tools that we have. Right. It, and it's very difficult to pick up 
a, a couplet here. We can say, yeah, this, this blue area, Nathan, is some very strong winds, or at least we're picking it up here. But in, in terms of it being real defined or well defined between where we would normally see a normal couplet with our uh, with the red and the blue, those areas blowing toward and away from radar. So somewhere in this general area, there's uh, DeVoe Boulevard, uh, Maisons, Chanel Parkway, Rawling. This is moving over and close to the club area in uh, West Little Rock. There's Chanel Mountain. I mentioned the mountain and the hilly terrain out here that would have an impact on the development of a tornado. Taylor Loop Road and Highway 10, Ranch Boulevard. Uh, folks, stay in your safe place. Yeah, Tom, we're so close okay. to the radar, so it is pixel by pixel because the actual tornado is not going to be that big. Uh -uh. So we really have to look at each individual pixel to separate from the noise versus what's actually happening within the storm and if there's rotation. So it is a little bit of a guessing game right now, ladies and gentlemen, but I would say if you see any of your developments on this map right now, then you do have the potential of seeing a tornado. And that includes Wildwood, the Oaks, the Courts, Chenal Ridge, Villages of Wellington, Chenal Pines, and then headed towards Pleasant Ridge. And you see the schools popping up. So uh, certainly uh, Cantrell Highway, Highway 10. Yeah. This is primarily just to the west of what was hit back on March 31st. If there's something happening on the ground right now, it's gonna be just to the west, maybe one or two miles just to the west. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what we're looking at when we're talking about this potential of a tornado happening at any moment. Again, I don't think it's going to be a strong tornado, but nonetheless, a tornado is a tornado and going through a highly developed area can produce significant damage and can also cause injury. So you want to take this seriously. If you already haven't gotten to your safe place and you're within this tornado warning polygon, you need to get there right now. You have time. Like Tom said, this is moving pretty Very slowly, slow. 15 yeah. miles per hour. Yeah, uh, so with that in mind, folks, and, and it's just no definitive couplet that Nathan's talking about. If you live anywhere in West Little Rock right now, uh, you're either receiving some uh, very heavy rain, large hail. I think we have another viewpoint looking back towards Chenal Mountain. We want to show you that. Go ahead and pull that up for us, JD, if you don't mind. We're looking at those towers out west, and uh, they're blinking. Uh, but look at all the lightning, lots of lightning, a very intense thunderstorm, supercell thunderstorm that is uh, moving into the Little Rock area, downtown Little Rock area. Okay, Tom, let's go back to Storm Track 11 okay. real quick because that's just updated with a little bullseye. Potentially, okay. there might be something oh, there. Okay, okay. Might be something there. That's coming down. That is Chenal. This is Chenal Boulevard. Uh, Pinnacle's over here. This is Highway 10. Uh, you got the Walmart. This is going over the Aberdeen neighborhood here in West Little Rock, or at least close to the Aberdeen neighborhood and Bayonne. If you live in those neighborhoods, that's awfully close to you. Shin and so. Yes, uh, so let's go back over to Max 1 because I have the rotation pinpointed right now and it looks like it's going to be approaching Highway 10. So it's over and it may be past you, but Marche La, La, La Machar, mm, excuse me, La Marche Drive. And then we have Highway 10. It's going to be moving across Highway 10 and then headed towards Country Farm Road, Pinnacle Valley. So that development in Pinnacle Valley, take your tornado precautions and it looks like it's going to be headed towards Maumel. So Maumel, you're under that tornado warning and you do have a cell that may be producing a tornado. I'm seeing a little more uptick there. I'm going to go over here and see if I'm seeing any debris signature with that. Right now, I'm not seeing that at this time. So hopefully it's still up in the cloud and hopefully it stays up in the cloud, but it's gonna be moving once again over Highway 10 into Pinnacle Valley. And then it's gonna make its way across the Arkansas River and head it towards Maumel. So Maumel, heads up, you have a dangerous storm that may produce a tornado at any moment. There's the Walmart at Maumel. It'll be very close to that, but everybody in Maumel I need you to go ahead and get to your safe place at this time and also Marche. 
there is where we're looking at with this rotation. I'm going to zoom in here one more time. Let's go ahead and put on those rotation signatures. I have a little too many there. I apologize for that. We're going to race this and pretty much start over. Tom, you've got your mic back on. I do have my mic. You know, um, we might want to get him a fresh battery as well. Uh, we've been, been going at it for a little while, but yeah, this is moving over. You've got uh, the Chanel neighborhoods that we talked about, the ranch, if you live out around the ranch, the courts, uh, and soon you're gonna see it cross the river or the cell cross the river. It will make it over into Maumel. If you live in Maumel, then you do want to, in fact, go ahead. Let's go ahead and everybody in this area, just make sure you're in your, your safe place. Uh, yeah, getting awfully close once again uh, to those some of those big neighborhoods out west. Let's see, you got the courts here. So uh, and this is just, and I'll tell you what, guys, if we can, um, I was going to say take uh, take a different viewpoint, but this is what we have. This is where we're finding the rotation. Velocity mode, what you're seeing are the winds, the blues and the reds. Blues blowing uh, toward radar, reds blowing away, but this is where we're picking up the strongest rotation uh, with that particular cell. Here's Chanel Parkway. Uh, we mentioned, uh, I mentioned a couple of the neighborhood names that are in this area. Uh, so we're not quite to, to Mall Mail. Mall Mail's up there a little bit. Okay, now we can go ahead and talk about the reflectivity. This is what we're seeing. And uh, yeah, there you go. Right in this area, Highway 10, it's moving to the northeast. Here's Mall Mel, Pinnacle Mountain State Park. There's Highway 10 and the Walmart out west. Uh, this is lifting uh, to the northeast. If you live in Mall Mel and Marche, make sure you take your precautions seriously and, and get into your safe place. And so we don't have anything confirmed yet, but it could. This storm is already produced, has a history of producing a uh, has Mr. Producing tornado that over in Hot Springs Village. You're trying to see if there's any more information about it. Yeah, Tom, we have not gotten any confirmation yeah. that there's damage. That's or good. That That's there's good. a tornado on the ground at this time, but <clears> it's just that situation where you have to keep your guard up because it could happen at any moment and it's right over a very developed area. Right. So again, you have to take this seriously. Here's what we're looking at. It's this area right here now, right along Highway 10. There's the Walmart right off Chanel Valley Parkway and there's Chanel Mountain. It's making its way over Pinnacle Valley, the development that was flooded really bad back a few years ago from the Arkansas River and then it's going to push its way towards Maumel. So there is the Walmart at Maumel. If you're watching us in Maumel, you've got a rotating storm headed in your direction that may produce a tornado at any moment. And with it being at night, you're not going to be able to see it. Also, you have already seen heavy rain and hail. So it's going to be the heavy rain, hail, and then if there's a tornado, that comes last. So you won't be able to see the tornado. So don't even try, especially since it's at night. And of course, uh, the other thing with this is the large hail with the tornado as well. Um, it getting a little more difficult to see any defined area. So yeah, we depend on a number of tools. Uh, we've got a rotation tool that we can look at our velocity. And this just really shows the curvature, the appendage that we would associate with you know, the um, hook echoes that we talk about. This is moving over Highway 10. It will soon, here's the Arkansas River right here. Mall Mill's just on the other side of the river. If you know where the Mall Mill Walmart is, uh, then you're going to be in the path as it moves to the northeast. This warning is in effect on 945. It's currently 926, getting ready to be 927. It's a very slow moving cell. That's what we know. It's not moving very quickly at all, less than 20 miles per hour. So along with the possibility of a tornado, you're going to get some torrential rainfall in a very short amount of time and, of course, the possibility of some big hail. Uh, again, if you live on any of these streets, County Farm Road, that's getting over close to Two Rivers Park, uh, Bow View, uh, that's a hilly area there in West Little Rock, uh, Pinnacle Valley Road, uh, you've got uh, Don Roberts right over here. So this is getting close to, uh, you know, a very popular place that a lot of folks like to go and spend time uh, in Two Rivers Park. It's not where the bridge is. It's the one that's to the west of the bridge with all the walking trails and also where all the, the uh, little gardens are located. And you've got numerous homes on the uh, County Farm Road. Then you've crossed the river and you're into Mall Mel. 
Country Club Parkway in Maumel. You've got Marsh A just up the road. There's the outer part of the polygon where the warning is in effect until 945. So it is crawling, crawling very slowly. Rawling Road, Henson Road, Taylor Loop Road, where all those intersect. This is what we're finding an area of uh, rotation. So it is moving over Highway 10, getting ready to cross into that area, back over uh, toward Two Rivers Park. Uh, got a little ways to go there off of uh, Highway 10. That just gives you an idea. Pleasant Ridge is on down Highway 10 a little bit further. Uh, movement is to the uh, northeast, 15 miles per hour. Again, if you live in Maumel, if you live in Marche, it'll be here in about a half an hour or so. Uh, take cover. Make sure you got everything with you. Take cover immediately and uh, get the kids. Uh, if you put them in bed, let's get them up and make sure that they're in their safe place. And Tom, I guess you want to say some good news here. Looking at the power outages, there's no real power outages happening in Pulaski County. That's good. So that is the latest update from uh, Power Outage US. Only 14 customers are without power in Pulaski County and over 1,200 in Saline County. So hopefully, again, this is rotating like a top, but if it stays in the clouds, that doesn't matter. It can rotate all at once, as long as it doesn't come down to the ground. Looking at yeah. the information that we have, we still are watching rotation with this cell. It's still maintaining itself as it's about to make its way across the Arkansas River and towards Maumel. I'm still watching the debris detector. I'm not seeing anything really scream out to me that says, yes, there's definitely a tornado on the ground at this moment and it's picking up debris, but things can change quickly. And especially when it's over a very developed area, we will set, certainly know when and if it touches the ground because we're so close to the radar. The radar is in North Little Rock. We will know right away if this funnel will touch the ground or not. So, Maumel, you need to be in your safe place. That purple cone is where our confidence is highest right of where this rotation is headed towards. And Maumel is right in the center of that cone. I do want to mention that there are more county there are severe thunderstorm warnings counties to our west. Once again, we're not done with severe weather tonight. I had hoped that once we could get this through that we'd be done with more severe thunderstorm warnings and even flash flood warnings. It uh, looks like Garland County is under severe thunderstorm warning and uh, parts of Perry County. Once again, just west of this, we'll keep an eye on that storm as well. Uh, as uh, you know, these cells cycle down, they cycle back up again in terms of hail. Uh, quarter size tail being picked up. This is our legend up here. The lighter colored blue quarter to maybe a little larger uh, covering up Highway 10. Uh, this is where the hell core is located. Move it across the Arkansas River into Maumel and will eventually make it to Marche. Uh, National Weather Service just said that it looked like this cell is beginning to tighten up again, going through its cycles, downsizing, then upsizing once again, uh, cycling up or strengthening. And uh, here is uh, the tornado warning, at least the area of West Little Rock in Northwest Little Rock that is currently under the warning. Uh, if you live out Pinnacle Mountain State Parkway, you're not under the warning anymore. Ferndale, Martindale, you're out of the warning. It's just this area near Maumel and Marche, Highway 100 to 365 near 40. So it's going to... Uh, it looks like it, it's going to travel over 40 and 365, continuing to the northeast. It might get close to the National Weather Service. It'll be in the vicinity. It's up in this general area. And then another severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect that includes parts of Pulaski County near Jacksonville and also uh, to Orlando and White Counties. So all kinds of warnings out there tonight. This, this one certainly has our focus. And we've got the thunderstorm moving through downtown Little Rock currently. 945 is when that warning expires. We still have 14 minutes. And we'll have to wait and see if they're going to extend it. Tornado warning sirens continue to go off. If you live in downtown Little Rock, you're in the clear from this warning. This is confined to the northwestern part of the county, uh, 430 south of 40, uh, right over Maumel. That's where we have the current tornado warning in effect. Have you seen anything different, Nathan? Does it look like it's still kind of uh, meandering a bit or is it tightening up? The NROT tool, the rotation tool, Tom, has not really shown any bullseye of what we were looking at just a few scans ago. So that's some yeah. good news. It's still just a broad area of blue. But when we take a look at Storm Track 11, if we can pull that up, guys, um, I want to show you what we're looking at. 
We did have that splotch of green show up earlier. Now that splotch of green is not showing up. So hopefully, again, this is continuing to go through cycles. It cycles up, it cycles down. We don't have any confirmation of damage from the National Weather Service. We don't have any confirmation of a tornado. This is still a Doppler radar indicated tornado, but it could produce a tornado at any moment. The sirens are going off probably in all Pulaski County, but you are in the clear in downtown Little Rock. You are also in the clear for south southern parts of Pulaski County and then into a large part of western areas of Pulaski County as long as you're not under that tornado warning. Uh, looks like they have gone with a new severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible tag, I believe. Yes, 13 minutes left on the tornado warning. Unless things change, we'll probably not reissue a tornado warning is just what has come out from the National Weather Service. So this cell is about to run into a wall of other storms. Therefore, it will not be able to strengthen much more and primarily will be a heavy rain event. But the tornado warning still remains in effect until 945. But there is some good news that it looks like this cell is starting to go on the downtrend and hopefully that continues to be the case. When we take a look at the winds here, Momel still needs to be in your safe place. Uh, that rotation will be very close to the Little Rock radar. There you see the radar yeah. dome National right Weather there, Service. the yeah. National Weather Service. So they may need to take <laughs> shelter, but that tornado warning is just to the west of the North Little Rock Weather Service. And I'm not Here's seeing anything yeah. really scream out rotation here, Tom. And we're starting to lose that structure as well. We're not seeing that appendage anymore when we right. take a look at the rain parts or reflectivity parts of the radar. Getting absorbed. I've got Max 2 up to show you the storms that are occurring here in uh, uh, the Pulaski County area. It's being absorbed into this area to the north. I mentioned those severe thunderstorm warnings over northern parts of Pulaski County, Lone Oak, White Counties. That's what's happening. It's yeah, kind of meeting up there. More strong to severe thunderstorms over Perry County, Saline, Garland County. Flash flood warning for a little part of Yale County. Uh, another part of this tonight was going to be the flooding or the potential for flash flooding uh, to go along with the severe threat, these storms are moving really slowly to the east and northeast, the individual cells. But still, some very formidable cells, as you can tell by the amount of lightning that we have. The strongest ones appear to be here in the Little Rock area. And again, back out over western Saline County and northern Garland County, where there is a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, again, this warning is 945 tonight. Let's hope here in the next 10 minutes they will allow it to settle down and expire. Uh, stay in your safe place if you live in Maumelle, if you live in Marche, if you live south of 40, uh, that's where the area is located that is under this tornado warning. And to the north is Searcy in White County. It looks like you're on the edge of a warning here as well as Cabot, severe thunderstorm warning for winds of 60 plus, but mainly it's big hailstones, uh, two to two and a half inches in diameter or larger. JD, do we have any more hail pictures that you want to share, any more photos that we need to share? One from Mall Mel. Okay, so the storm's moving over Mall Mel from Kim or Ken? Ken. All right, Ken. Uh, Kim. Kim. Okay, K I M. Uh, Kim. Penny sized tail there. Uh, also, a good sign if, if these cells start to weaken a bit, the hail won't be nearly as large, but we've had some big, big hail pictures tonight. Uh, 501 376 1111. That is our number to text in your photos, tell us who you are and what location you're in. And thank you for being the eyes and ears. Just make sure you keep your family safe. All right, let's go back to max one and we'll show you the warnings that we have. Uh, severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for that box there. There's the uh, extended tornado warning now. It looks like, uh, well, right here, I should say, and a severe thunderstorm warning. They're very close. You've got the tornado possible as well as the tornado. Very yeah, so small they area there. They have allowed the tornado warning to be canceled. That is a severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible, possible. tag. Yeah. So there's still rotation with this cell, but they are not confident enough to go with the tornado warning. And a considerable one here out in uh, Garland in Saline County that could produce some, some big hailstones. So those are the warnings in central Arkansas. The tornado warning has been allowed to uh, expire, right? That's yes. what you're saying? That Okay, that's good. Let's take you on a quick tour of the state. 
and show you what else is going on, Nathan, in terms of uh, who's getting what here in central Arkansas as these storms move in. It's 937 right now. We might get a 10 o'clock newscast out of this, and so we'll just keep it on weather. But take us on a tour and tell us what else is going on. Well, Tom, we are still watching a line of nasty storms producing some very heavy rainfall, lots of lightning, lots of thunder, maybe even some gusty winds, 60 miles per hour or greater. That's why we do have that severe thunderstorm warning in effect for you folks in White County and also into Lono County. This line is all dropping its way down to the south and southeast, but it's a slow go. So we have to watch out for the potential. We could see some areas of flash flooding for poor drainage areas, low lying areas, smaller creeks and streams as this line continues to advance its way down to the south. You see that cell that did have a tornado warning. It ran into this line, so it is losing its punch very quickly and it will get absorbed in that line. But there's that severe thunderstorm warning for White County, eastern parts of Faulkner County, getting into Pulaski County and then also into parts of Lono County. We've got another cell here into Garland County. That one's still producing quite a bit of lightning. And when we take a look at the hail with that cell, because it was a considerable one and looks like it is producing maybe ping pong ball to golf ball size hail over northern parts of Garland County. Looks like very close to Jesseville. I'm going to go over to Storm Track 11 and we'll take a look at the maximum estimated hail size with that and see what that's coming up with. And it's right over Jesseville. It's it's pinpointing the yeah. potential of two inch size hail. So it looks like that is the strongest cell right now into Northern Garland County will be moving into western parts of Saline County. Does it have some rotation? Uh, it is there a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah. It was at too high of a scan, so we lowered the scan bit. there. Okay. There is a little bit of rotation, so we'll have to watch out for that as well. But hopefully this cell that just moved through kind of took some of the steam yeah. from the atmosphere. So that cell hopefully will weaken. But that is very close to where they just got hit, Tom. I was going to say a while. By the confirmed tornado. Yeah. Very close to Hot Springs Village. They got hit yeah, not long ago, and we have had a confirmed report of a tornado and damage in Hot Springs Village. We're going to bring you more on that as we get more information. Uh, in terms of the warnings, the tornado warning, as Nathan mentioned a moment ago, has been allowed to expire. Actually, they canceled the rest of it, but at any time, these cells could cycle back up. We're going to take a little breather here. We still have the severe thunderstorm warnings. We're not going to go far. Get a little drink of water if we have another warning. And we have tornado watch for tornado large watch. parts of Central Arkansas yeah. until midnight and even if you haven't seen any action down mm -hmm. to the south let's go back over to max one because it is pretty quiet down to the south you got to watch That's out for cells that try to develop ahead of the main line that's moving from north down to the south those cells down into Grant County, they're pretty close to the main line, so I'm not concerned about them. Yeah. But any They're cells that cells. develop, say, into uh, around Camden, Hampton, Fordyce, Arkadelphia, those could become supercells and certainly watch out for those. Yeah, so right now things are quiet here or are, or, or, I hate to say quiet because you know what happens, but but uh, most of the action now central Arkansas as this area moves to the south southeast. We still have a few severe thunderstorm warnings, but as uh, we're going to take a little break here, we've got the THV 11 news coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll recap what's been going on. We'll try to get more information about what happened in Hot Springs Village with the tornadoes and keep sending in your pictures if you have them. 501-376-1111. Text your photo our way. We want to know who you are and where you're from. Uh, lots of great photos tonight. Thank you. We hope everybody is safe tonight as the storms kind of die down just a bit, but they may recycle. We'll keep an eye on the ones in Garland County and Saline County. That's the most uh, prominent one as this whole area moves to the east southeast. So um, I'll tell you what, JD, we'll take a little break here. Okay, we're going to take a little break. We'll be back at 10 o'clock. For Nathan Scott, I'm Tom Brandon. We will see you at 10.